Hello and welcome back to Fabulous Ideas and in this video I'm so excited because I am going to be replacing my old bed for a new TV bed and um, yes yeah, so I do not have a TV in my room and the kind of layout that I have it's impossible to put one on the wall um, so I decided for space saving ideas to just have a bed that actually has a TV that pops out of the bed so um, I have gone to um, an online shop and I saw the bed that I really really liked and it did take me quite a while to decide on the bed just to make sure I had all the decor and it fit in with the kind of you know the room that I have I didn't want it to look out of place um, so yes I decided to go for a silver um, crush um, bed so you know I don't want to talk too much about it because I actually want to talk about the bed as you're seeing it so um, we'll do that in this video so the footage that you're going to be seeing is the old bed and then you're going to be seeing me um, putting it up well you know dismantling the old bed and um, putting in the new bed and talking a little bit about the features and also at the end I have got some new bed covers that I will be showing you there's two of them that I've purchased and I got them from Amazon and I will put the links down below for that and also the website where I got the bed from and also um, because it is about the bed I also have accessories as well and this accessory is the um, I have a new nighty that I purchased as well and you know it's really really lovely so I can't wait to show you that and I can put a link down below for that and it's great for the summer and if you have an electric blanket it's also great for the winter so that's what's going to be happening so first of all let's check out the old bed and um, yeah and let's see the new bed okay so this is the bed how it looks at the moment so you know you've probably seen it in many of my videos i mean it is a lovely bed um but yes this is my old bed and um just wanted you to have a quick look at it before the new one arrives so it's basically just like that and yeah the next one that comes will be my tv bed so i'm very much looking forward to that and i will be doing that one up myself and it will be arriving in a few days so see you in the next clip for when it arrives okay so now i'm just going to be dismantling the bed and this is my foam mattress i'm definitely going to be keeping my foam mattress and if you don't have a foam mattress then i definitely recommend you get one i've never had such a good night's sleep and that's the reason why i will never change my mattress i'm just waving goodbye to my old bed um you know i've had it a long time it's been with, been with me for a very you know a good while now so as you can see it's coming to the end I've definitely been busy dismantling it's not actually that hard um, so yeah my toolbox is there and um, yeah it looks like I'll be sleeping on the floor and the new bed should arrive tomorrow morning and I'm so excited so yes <laughs> okay so the new bed has just arrived and there are loads of boxes downstairs very heavy pieces um yes glad i've got some help here let's have a little look oh there is the silver crush fabric that i have been talking about i'm very excited that is the headboard i'm just going to go down and take a look at all of the boxes downstairs so we come down with me and check out how many boxes. I think there are about five boxes in the head. Um, so yeah, these are the boxes. And as you can see, that is the old bed there that's been dismantled. We've just brought it down. So in this box, you can see is the bed frame. So this is the bed frame in this box. So that's to open everything up and take things up. Is very very heavy so finally I have brought up most of the pieces I think there is just one box downstairs and that is for where we need to do up the DVD storage so I've just put the gas lift mechanism 
on the headboard and it looks like that so there's my instructions there and I've also had to put the gas lift mechanism on the, the part where the telly comes out so at the end of the bed and then we're now on to stage two and we're just going to be putting the sides together joining them up so that's going to be a bit of a tricky procedure because we have a lot of things going on there so let's have a look what we need to do after that i think it's just about adjusting more of the corners okay so right now i this is obviously the base of the bed and as you can see here is where the tv will be coming out and in and then obviously there is the gas lift that i've put in and over there is the headboard which is looking a very pretty color i really like the gray i think it suits with all the pink um yes and then there's going to be a little place here that i'm going to build and it's going to be i mean you can put your dvds and things i might just be putting my laptops there because i don't have a dvd and yeah so that's the the whole of the frame at the moment those are the four sides put together and that was quite easy actually um, there's a lot of wires there and we'll talk about those as we go along but um, yeah this is stage two so now on to stage three so this is stage two as you can see and you can put this either side so they show you you can put them on the you know the sides that suit you um okay so stage three is here and i think that stage three we're going to be adding some extra things in the corners just for security and then on stage four we're going to be using pack c and um doing some work i think it's for the the bit where you put your dvd so we're going to be building that and there's another box for that which I'll get up in a moment. So on to stage three. So those are the corner bits. Okay, so my bed is done and these two handles on the side here are for when you tilt your mattress up so that you can access the bottom of the bed. And as you can see, I've made, there's a little hole here and you can feed through cables as well if you do want a DVD player. So that's been fitted in. But the rest of the storage is whatever I want to put in there. So if I just give you an example, and you can see you get this little string here and then we just pull it up. And then you can get in, as you can see my cat's gone in there. And there's a little box there that will have whatever you want, your DVD player, and then your access to your wires are here. So yeah, so that's how you would do it. Rocco, Rocco, come on, out. Rocco, Rocco, come on. Okay, so here is the remote control and I don't have a TV yet because I just want to check all the measurements. So if I press this, then you can see it lifting up. And you can see that mechanism coming out. Just excuse all the mess at the back, back there. That's just things that are going to go back under my bed and also some of the boxes. So there we go. And then if I press the down button. And then I've used, there's a little like plug in the bottom here. As you can see, that's where the bed operates, that plug there. I've used the DVD box to bring the wire out so that I can use it in my socket over there. So that's that. So now I'm going to make my bed. So I've ordered these Egyptian 100% cotton um, bed sheets with lovely pink colour 
decided to go for a king although mine's a double but it is a thick foam mattress so just for ease I've got a big and it's a 200 thread count and I got these from Debenhams so I'm going to put these on the bed and again um, from Amazon though this time 100% cotton because I really like the texture of cotton I decided to go for this lovely like ruffled effect um, very delicate um, king size duvet cover um, so yes yeah, so that's going to be what I'm going to be putting on this bed and I'm just loving my pink sheets against the silver it's not actually grey it's, it's advertised as silver which I really like because I like it a little bit lighter just to brighten up the room and it goes lovely with pink uh, and I'm sure it's going to go beautiful with this white um, duvet cover so let me get this on the bed and I'll show you the finishing touch so see you back in a while and like I said I bought this bed online and the place that I bought it was Time for Sleep so it's an online company and yes this is called the Copenhagen and it is a double TV bed okay so the thing i love about this bed it is it has an ottoman underneath and the tv the, the, the tv sorry the bed frame and it's also in a beautiful silver crush it's on the pricey side but it's worth it because it is a bed that i intend to keep for many many years so let's have a look and talk about some of the features of this bed so like I said, it has got the gas lift as you see me fixing this up and its assisted base can be raised to reveal a large capacity. So, you know, you are getting all that space underneath for storage, which I do love. And also it's got the latest generation slimline foot end bed of the bed. So, you know, the TV mechanism, which features automatic cut off. So once your TV is lowered, it automatically turns off, which is a fantastic feature, especially for those people that fall asleep or just can't be bothered and you know it's automatic so and it's also got your room for your dvds consoles and everything else and please note when you're purchasing that the mattress and the tv is not included with the bed when it is purchased so just a reminder on that okay so this is the second um, bed cover that i bought from amazon and again you know 100 percent cotton you can't beat the feel to it it's almost like you're in a hotel so i do like the quality um so yeah this is a 100 percent um cotton duvet cover um i have a single bed but i do like to have a king size cover so it does cover the whole of the bed instead of having that no bedside cover on this side so I like to have a big lengthy duvet cover so I purchased this um, and we're going to see this on the bed and um, you can tell me what you think so so here is the duvet cover on the bed and i must say that i am very pleased with it it's got these little pink um, floral design on there with the fresh white background and yes lovely on the bed i think it suits the um, silver and all the accessories inside of the room so i'm really happy with the look I also purchased this accessory as well and it's just um, from Dream Scene and it's a fleece blanket and it is in the colours of the room as well which is lovely. It's in the pink and now the bed um, which is in the grey and it's just something that you would throw at the bottom or along the top of your bed and I think that this is just a great addition to the room especially when I put it on top of the white duvet cover and I will show show you what that looks like now this fleece is super soft I'm loving the pinks going with the silver um, lovely for cozy nights so it's lovely and soft there and I love it against the pure white duvet cover it really stands out in 3d 
Okay, so this is the nighty that I purchased from Amazon. And like I said, I'll put the link down below. Um, and if you click on that link, you'll see all the prices and exactly the description of the item. So I'm going to show it to you um, now. I thought it looked really, really feminine, very, very um, pretty. Uh, is, and as you can see, look at the texture. Yeah, we've got to zoom in there. Look at that. So I thought that this looks pretty. It's very, very light. It's like it's got layers to it as well. So as you can see, it's got layers there. And I just thought that looks really, really pretty um, in the summertime. And also you can, like I said, if you have an electric blanket and, you know, it keeps your room warm, this is lovely as well for the winter time. So I just think that looks really delicate, really elegant. And the back looks like this. Um, so yeah, so that is another addition to the bedtime. So, you know, I do like when I get a new bed to have all the accessories as well. It just, just finishes everything perfectly. So I do hope that you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you are new here, then a very big welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit on that notification so you don't miss any more fabulous ideas.